when shooting is handled, there is an effect called camera shake. We will reproduce this effect inside Unreal and it can, for example, be used for the boat bouncing effect. You can see the effect right now. We will reproduce it from scratch. It's done in the same way as any animation in the sequencer. We will create a blueprint and add it to the camera. Now we delete the sequencer and blueprint. Go back to the content browser, duplicate the previously created sequencer. Go inside it. I'll transfer it from the second monitor to the first one. Select the camera, specify its position for frame 0. Lock it by setting the Alt key. I will go to the final frame, change the position of the camera and once again lock the animation with the final key. I went to frame 0, adjust the camera position and updated the key. Now we select the keys, press 4, make the animation linear. In the content browser, right click on Blueprint, then Blueprint class. In the window that appears in the search, we type shake. Select Matinee Camera Shake and press select. We name it for convenience, so that we do not forget when choosing what the blueprint is called. We go into it, to its settings. In the first parameter, set the duration to 600. This is as many frames as animation lasts. In lock, we set the parameters to 1 on the amplitude and frequency in the x-axis and set parallel noise in the waveform. Open the track in the sequencer opposite to the camera. Then camera shake and select the created blueprint. Extend the animation to the border. Camera shake was added to animation. And now, by changing the settings of the created blueprint, we achieve the desired result by trial and error. In the pitch selection, I set the amplitude and frequency to 1 and look at what it affected. Choosing the necessary settings, we achieved the desired result. I wanted to clarify the position of the camera a little. To do this, select the necessary key, change the position of the camera and click on Create and Auto key, terribly updating the existing key. I continue to select the parameters in order to make the effect of movement and bouncing of the boat more realistic. I highly recommend it using references, picking up some video footage from the boat and trying to recreate the same movement. Likewise, the effect of camera shake. That is, handheld is created. There is, the values are also selected, they will just be slightly different. And I also advise you to use references. Find videos and watch camera movement which on effect or another. I have completed my blueprint setup. You see the final result. I will try to turn on the trees and play the full animation with all objects. Of course, this is not happening in real time, but it gives a general view. This is the end of the lesson. See you in the next one.